hi guys welcome back this is Karen so in this video I decided that I will do an unboxing on my new air fryer oven guys when I tell you that I've been looking and searching for an air fryer and I have passed up so many deals because I've been so uncertain of what um, the brand that I want but I know that there were certain features of an air fryer oven that I was looking for so I did not want an air fryer air fryer I wanted an air fryer oven that could do quite a few things so this one is a seven in one and it does air fry bake roast reheat boil dehydrate and it can rotisserie a chicken so that was one of my main thing with looking for an air fryer oven that it could rotisserie I could rotisserie a chicken within it so with this instant pot it is 10 quads so it's quite big it has a basket for even crisp and um, it says that it's quick cooking with little to no preheating time and it gives you the flavor like a deep fryer so let's see so from the box right now you could see that um on the air fryer itself it has the preset buttons so on the actual air fryer which you'll see when i open it up it has the air fryer button that you would just press the air fryer to roast to broil to bake preheat dehydrate um cancel if you so want start light i'm not sure what that light is and to rotate to rotate i'm not sure i'll find out and then on there would be the temperature buttons all right so i'm just gonna go ahead and open the box because i have not opened the box yet and see what's inside so the box itself is quite heavy as I said it's a 10 quart air fryer and um, the actual weight on it I'm not quite sure I'll have to probably you know fool around with it and um, see what the weight is however it has a dip tray uh, a perforated pan for even like crisp the rotisserie basket and the rotisserie fork and a rod so this is what the top of the box looks like again so when you open it it has the pamphlet manual I think from the looks of it it might have I'm not sure I'll double check if it has recipes in there when you open the two flaps more it has all the items for the rotisserie part of the air fryer these are the forks that the rotisserie for well, the chicken would go in protruding at one end is the corn so it's well packaged you lift this off and there is it's covered with you know you know that plastic that normally would come with like a computer or you know that kind of stuff it's come covered in that and then if I nicely fold it big enough so it can be folded at the bottom so you want to take your time with this because as I said it's quite a bit heavy and this is what it looks like. Let me probably just lift it up. 
but this is what it looks like from the outside so I can tell you it has it's black and silver detailing taped on both sides If you gently pull this out the door comes out and you it rests it goes all the way down again inside has some of the same cushions that the box at the top and the bottom has as you see right here So this is the rotisserie basket. I'm not sure what size chicken can hold in this. I perhaps think that you can also rotisserie the chicken without it. All right, I'll just rest that right there. It has that tray thing at the bottom. So this is what it's looking like. Right, I'll have to probably one of these days when I wrote to Surya Chicken um, video it and show you guys how well it does. So it comes with two perforated baskets for your deep for your air fry or maybe your roast toast. And then this small one right here or this solid one is the base of it it's like a, the dip tray i would call it and you slide it in so i'm gonna plug it in and i plug it in the off sign comes on um open it up have my two trays that's how they're looking um I will have to do my test air fry cooking in order to see when needed and when not needed in using both trays because I know sometimes with other air fryers or reading the reviews about other air fryers with two trays um, after cooking for the suggested time um, the one at the top often does not cook evenly right so I'll have to double check that so close it it makes that sound All right so as I shown earlier in the video the front of the air fryer has the preset buttons for the different things that you could possibly want the air fry the roast or boil bake and that kind of stuff it has the minus and plus sign for your time and the minus and plus sign for your temperature. The light, I'm assuming when you open the air fryer itself, it has a light. So it has, has a light in there. It has some coils on the top. So that's where I guess the air is circulating or coming from. And then close it. So if I were to like say now, I wanted to cook something let me just press on air fry it goes up to 400 Fahrenheit then it flashes and it says air fry for 15 minutes so I'm assuming that 400 degrees at 18 minutes for maybe typical of fries or I'm not sure maybe typical wings if I press the roast the roast will give me 380 Fahrenheit at 40 minutes. Broil, same 400 Fahrenheit at 8 minutes. And a bake, say I wanted to do my a small pizza, 365 Fahrenheit at 30 minutes. If I were to reheat something, 280, 
at 10 minutes. So this is quite convenient because without even reading through the pamphlet manual, the buttons pretty much stipulates what are the baking, roast, air fry temperature with their corresponding minutes for them to cook slash bake slash broil and that kind of stuff. So the cancel, once you've selected whatever you want to do, it begins. If you want to cancel, the cancel button becomes red. The start button becomes, well, when you start the presets, it, it, it came in green and I'm not sure what this is about. And I'm just going to cancel that because I'm not doing anything. And then the off comes right there. Um, to talk about these buttons, I'm assuming if you wanted your air fry, you could have selected minus, click it, and it goes down in the temperature of what you want it to cook. So that's good. And the time, I guess if you wanted to increase the time, you could have increased your time here or decreased the time. So it's, I think this is, this air fryer is a pretty self-explanatory because without me reading the pamphlet, I can just go ahead and air fry some wings, air fry some fries and just go off the one button, the temperature and the time and just check start off with what it suggests and then just take it from there but pretty good so far and as i said the rotisserie part of it will i will have to read the manual to see how it goes and do a uh, chicken and take it from there so guys yes um i'll do another video um showing you one or two items of me using the air fryer me using the air fryer and give my final review on the pros and the cons but so far it is worth the money I paid hundred and thirty dollars for this air fryer it was on sale I think it goes for 180 and I bought it bought it at London Drugs here in Canada. I think it also sells maybe at Best Buy Home Depot. Um can Google it to see where else instant Walmart where instant the instant Vortex Plus air fryer oven is sold and so far I'm okay with it. Pretty self-explanatory as I said. And all I want to know is that it does what it does good. I read some reviews on it and it's a good medium air fryer. Um, so thank you guys for watching. Please share, like, and subscribe. And stay tuned for the next video showing you how I do fries or wings with this air fryer oven. Thank you. Bye.